We're here with the man, Angry Jins, United. But it wasn't United today, it was United. United, 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 United. Luke Links on tour. Luke Links on tour. We are right now. I'm not going to shout because, you know, hotel rooms, the walls are very thin. But we, at the moment, are in a Premier Inn at Wolverhampton. It is currently 9.21 in the morning because we have today at 3 o'clock kickoff Manchester United versus Brighton and Hove Albion. This is a big one and it is the first long away trip of the season. I am so pumped, so excited. To be completely and utterly honest, I've had about four hours sleep. But honestly, you know what it's like, sleeping in hotels sometimes, it's a difficult task, like generally it is. It's just mad exciting for this game as well, can I just add. So today I'm going to have to run my energy off of adrenaline. But enough of the chit chat, let's get straight into this match day vlog. It is your boy, Lutelis Brighton, and you have just clicked on another Loot Links Brighton match day vlog. Come on, United! When we score, it's a good time. Feel the crowd jumping now. Come on! 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 Come as I was trying to make a, a stand for my camera to do the intro, so don't sue me, Premier Inn. Thank you very much. Okay, we're here with the Albion Brazilian fans. We absolutely love this. And um, guys, what do you think score predictions today against United is three going one. to be? Three one to us. Yeah. Three one to yeah, us. Uh, one minus three Brighton. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two so, for John Pedro. Yes. Uh, one one, one to Ferguson. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. You think Xiao's going to score today? What? Xiao Pedro. Yeah. Score two, two for John Pedro. I think uh, solid match to do the other one. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> if you could give another Brazilian player that could come to Brighton, who would you pick? Well, any, I, I, uh, any Brazilian player. I, I've got, I've got a, a player uh, which which just been to Chelsea. Chelsea. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what is his name? I forgot his name. I forgot, I, I forgot his name as well. To be fair, <laughs> Neymar would be pretty cool. <laughs> Neymar. 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 But uh, so, so John Pedro's place is very good, man. So, the, yeah. Yeah. so normally it's the the first time it's. Uh, no, 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 but it's a second, the five, sixth place. Uh, John Pedro, yeah, team Very different, young, isn't it? different, yeah, yeah, different balls, yeah. yeah, yeah. But guys, I just want to know if you come from Brazil to watch today's game, or do you live in England? We live in Brighton. Brighton. You live in Brighton. Yeah, yeah they're okay. together the people, the, the buzz. Yeah, brilliant. What city are you from in Brazil? I'm from uh, Itamaraju, Bahia. Okay. And he's from Minas Gerais. Yes, I, I, I born in Brazil, yes. but it's my long my life is I live in Portugal. Ooh, yes, okay. I'm in Portugal nice. 70 years. Wow. Yeah, but uh, it's a Brazil and Portugal together. And I go to, now to Brazil, Portugal and the bridge. It's, uh, yeah. it's nice, man. We, <laughs> yeah. love it. we absolutely love it. Guys, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you very much. much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Nice. Yeah, look at that. We love it. We love it. <laughs> Okay, we're here with Statman Harry. Du, 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 du. Again, Statman Harry, for your first time in Old Trafford. You're traveling around, Harry. You yes, are traveling. Am, right, Statman, I want to know what is your stats for today before we stop talk about score predictions. So, my stat today is that Man United have only lost four consecutive Premier League games against an opponent twice previously, doing so against uh, with the run against Liverpool, which the run from that was in December 2000 to January 2002, and Man City from April 2013 to. November 2014. Harry, thanks for coming on, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
All right, we're with Dan and we're with, as we know him, Joe as well. This is the editor of Albion Obsessed, by the way, as well. So we've got, you know, we've got the Albion Obsessed team here at Old Trafford, Manchester. <laughs> Boys, I want to talk about one, one first thing that we, we were talking about off camera, and that's Jakob Modder. Now, Jakob Modder, he's been out for like nearly two years now, and which will be two years once he actually gets probably back on the pitch. He's been out for so long, uh, ACL, I think, I believe it was. Do you think, though, he'll get a place back in the squad? And where do you think he would be playing if he did? I think even when he does come back, it's going to take him a long time yeah. to get back to full match fitness. Um, He's only just been back to training, by the way, as well. That's why we're talking about it. I think that he will spend a little bit of time with the under-23s and um, play, okay. play a few games there. Yes. Um, yeah. But then you say, like, how does he get back in the team? We've got Belieber that needs to force his way into the team as well. Is there space for Yakamoda? I would love him to come back. I yeah. thought he was great before his injury. Um, very unlucky to not score more goals, um, hit the post God knows how many times. Yeah. Um, and Dan, you said on the way up, if Roberto De Zerbi can get Solly Marks to score consistently, what can he do with Yakamoda? Um, so it's, I, I really think that it'll be a what, what if with Yakamoda. Um, I don't want it to be, I think he's... De Zerbi says that it, we could do with another midfielder, so Yakamoda would be great. But what do you think he would even play if he wants to come in? Um, I think he would be one of the midfield two alongside Gilmore yeah. if he was to come back. Um, Obviously, as a sub, I don't think he'll be getting first team, to be honest. No, I, I think he showed on the Grand Potter that he was versatile mm. as well, so he can play a number of positions. Um, and he'd play for Poland in a more advanced role as well. So there, I think there is space for him if he comes back to full fitness, but you know, it's, it's about getting him there. It's about getting him there. Yeah. Dan, what do you think? Do you reckon he, he'll come back? Will he be in the first side? And do you agree with Joe? Do you reckon he'll just be in the midfield, centre mid role? Yeah, I mean, I hope he comes back. Yeah. I really do. Um, he looks so good under Potter. But we are so stacked up front yeah. at the moment. You know, Fatty, uh, Nciso when he comes back, Pedro, Ferguson, Welbeck. You know, he's not necessarily a striker, but he plays around the area a lot of the time. Um, Very uh, versatile uh, Fatty, isn't he? Yeah. He plays number 10, number 9, number 11. Yeah. So many. Yeah, it's just all over the place. I mean, we, we need left back, right? Can yes. he play left back? Yeah, <laughs> that would be nice if he could. But yeah, I think he's a little bit too small fat, maybe a little bit weak as well. Yeah. But I agree. Now, Dan, and we'll go on to Joe as well. What's happening today? United always get results out of them. Is it happening again today in the old rust bucket, the old Trafford? I'd love to see us win, especially after Wembley. Hell yeah. 1-0, one 1-0. -oh, one -oh. your first time, 1-0. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we, we, I think we'll take a draw. I think we'll yeah. take a draw. I, I'd take a draw now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. First time here for Dan as well. And uh, Joe, is your first time here as, as well? Time, yeah, yeah, first time first again. Time. So many first-timers coming here. I've spoken to so many, but what's happening today, Joe? Uh, I think... I think we'll positivity, be, positivity. Genuinely, I think it would be too much for him. Okay, um, I, I went on a, uh, a football podcast, uh, if I can shout them out, The Corridor of Uncertainty. Definitely. They're really good guys. Um, and I predicted a 3-0 win for the Albion. Okay. Um, I'm, still, I'm still feeling relatively confident. Um, I think there's a lot going on off the pitch for United. Um, yeah. w will their minds be elsewhere? Anthony's not playing, Jaden Sancho's been... Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. It's going to be a big test for us and we need to start in the right way. So 3-0 to the Albion. Uh, last question, guys. Have you booked any away days for European football? Unfortunately not. My wife would kill me. <laughs> I want to disappoint you. No, I haven't. Oh, you're not going to Marseille, boys. You're not going to Marseille. <laughs> Luke, Anyways, it was nice knowing you, mate. Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm going I'm to be gone. I'm going to be gone. Joe, Dan, Simon. pleasure, guys. Yeah, Did pleasure. It, yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're here with Simon. Simon, good to meet you, mate. We've right. just been chatting about um, obviously who we're thinking who's going to come on and everything. Obviously, we've heard about Ferguson, bit of a knee injury. Welbeck out as well. Um, obviously, you're, you're saying that Fatty could possibly start today or could do a pretty good job. And do, do, you, do you think he will? Or the way that Fatty can play in a number ten role or out on the wing? Uh, yeah, I'll play Pedro up front. Fatty's quick. Um, nimble, plays a good ball through, so I think Fatty would make could start in the number 10 role. Lee Ferguson on the bench because um, he didn't start training till Thursday, so we're informed. Um, he can come on and be a danger for like the last 20 minutes or whatever, with them yeah. struggling with, um, I don't know whether Varane's out or somebody else is out, I mean Maguire. Luke, Luke Shaw's out yeah. as well, you've got a few players are out, Sancho having problems with manager, a few players out, but Hoyland is a bit of a striker, he looks a bit dangerous, doesn't he? 
Yeah, bit. but the, but the thing is, he hasn't really started, though, has he? He came no. here, he came here with an injury. He's only come on as a sub. And when you had a look at their last game against Arsenal, whoever it was, whoever Man United player having a go at them, he's a bit unrest against the Man in, in within the Man United squad. Yet when you look at Brighton, I don't think there's any unrest. They're all playing for each other. They're all workers of each other. It's a shame if we can't keep the same team that played Newcastle because I would have taken a one-one there with Newcastle. But the way they all played, they're, they're all playing for each other at the moment. Yeah. So it's, it's a headache for De Zerbe, mm. and we've got to go with whoever he picks because he sees them Monday till Friday, whatever, or if they have a day off. We only turn yeah. up on match days and we only read reports what other people want to say. So De Zerbe, De Zerbe works with them Monday till Friday, and I've got faith in whoever he picks at the beginning. Else, you know, the, the atmosphere just from them. So we've got to be up for it. For, to me, if we're 2 0 up with 20 minutes to go, bring some of them on sort of stuff to see how they cope you know that way then if we do get a draw we've still only got one point we haven't lost the game and you know it. we're going to get European I football again next year I love it as these boys want to come on come on then you want to come yeah, on yeah, yeah. what well, score predictions then come on yeah big draft score prediction yeah yeah a score three, prediction three, uh, United yeah. <laughs> three nil Brighton <laughs> Love it. I love, love Bright. Love, love this guy. I love what about you, sir? Bright. 3 1 United. 3 1 United. United, United. Give us United. He, he's not good. No, he's not good. He's going to Metal Hospital. No. Mituma is going to fuck United today. <laughs> All done. All done. Love it. Well done. <laughs> right, Simon. Hope you're in today. Really good to meet you. Thanks Cheers, for coming thanks on. A lot. Thank I you very much. Watch your channel as well oh, on YouTube. Mate. It's good. Thank you. I'll watch it. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Come on! Score prediction 1 0 to the Albion today. 1 0 to the Albion. Come on, the boys. Come on, the boys. Come on! Yes, come on! Oh. Yeah, come on! Disgusting!
time. One nil to the Albion. Unbelievable performance. Come on. Oh. Oh. United, but it wasn't United today, it was United. What happened today, Angry Jinch? Tell us as a United fan, as an avid supporter, tell us. Yeah, as simple as this really, you took your chances, we didn't take ours. We had, we had a lot of chances, didn't hit the target with many of them, and oh, it hurts to say, but the better team won today. Thank you mate, I really appreciate that. And um, where do you think you're going to be at the end of the season? <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Where do you think you're going to be at the end of the season? Uh, end of the season, top four I reckon, maybe yeah. fourth. And we'll just win the Champions League, it's as easy as that. Can I ask you, as a United fan, yep. who was the player that you thought, wow, you know, this player is really good for Brighton? Who did you think? Who like impressed you from us? Um, I think Joe Pedro. Yeah. I thought yeah. he was very good. I thought yeah. not only is our offence, he's de getting back and doing defensive works. I thought he did very well, to be fair. Brilliant. Well, look, Agri I'm not going to hold you for too much longer. Thank you so much for coming on, mate. Really appreciate Oh my goodness, my voice is going again. It's one of those away days you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Honestly, the rest of your life. Angry Ginge on a interview. 
I'm absolutely buzzing. Angry Juice for watching this, mate. I really appreciate it. What a sound guy, man. I've never known someone so down to earth. Honestly, it's fantastic. Great interview with him. Fantastic day out. Once again in Manchester. I absolutely love Manny. Honestly, I love Manny. It's a brilliant place to go to. We always enjoy our way days here, probably because we win. But look, we're here again. Old Trafford to win another game against them. This is probably up fourth or fifth in a row that we've beaten them. It's just been a crazy ride. And uh, well, it's gonna be happy travel back. Let me just say it. Guys, look, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, like the video if you had enjoyed. Come on. We love it, we love it, we love it. <laughs> love it. Um, and of course, do everything you need to do. Cause look, we're on our way to 50K. Let's make it happen, all right? Anyways, guys, United fans as well. We appreciate you guys. We always have respect for our opposition. So big up to you guys as well for watching this. Anyways, been your boy Lucas Brighton. I'll see you in the next one. La Bosch. <laughs>